Hey everyone, so you have not seen this yet because I started posting, started filming a video several weeks back. My gosh, it's probably already a month about our, our cryptum area in our front bed. Well, our cryptum area got snow damaged. Um, we wanted to pull them out anyway. That kind of forced our hand. So today is, that was probably late February. Today's March 24th. I went to the nursery that I, I worked picked at. up the three boxwoods. I'm going to turn you around and show you them. We're not going to get them planted. I don't think very quickly because we feel like we want to build them up a little bit. They're a seven gallon container and they're a good size boxwood, but they're not nearly as tall as the cryptomeria were. They're not even as tall as the um, candy corn spirea is, which we recently pruned back. So I think we're going to try to burn them up a little bit, but I'm going to at least show you the boxwoods and the bed and some ideas I have because I feel like we need more stuff in here now. I don't think these boxwoods are ever going to fill this space up completely like the cryptomeria did. The cryptomeria, cryptomeria really were just too big for this bed. But anyway, so I'm going to turn you around, show you the bed, show you the boxwood, um, probably break this up into two parts. When we actually do the planting, we'll show you that separately. So come garden with me and let's just talk a, bit, a little bit about what we're going to be doing in this bed. One other thing about this video, it's going to seem very out of order because, as I said, I started filming it when the cryptomeria first got snow damaged. So I'm going to go back and show you a clip from when I did film that. And then I'm showing some clips from when my husband was cutting them down and getting rid of them, which was several weeks after the snow damage. And now today is even more weeks after that. But so it will seem a little odd and a little out of sequence, but I'm sure... Once you see it all, you, you get the idea. Now these are Cryptomeria. They are Globosa Nana. They were here when we bought the house. This was the only area that had any kind of landscaping. The Liriopes were here. The three Globosa Nanas were here. And then where we have, you can see a shrub there and a shrub there. There were two junipers planted in there. Cryptomeria need quite a bit of sunlight. Doesn't get any sun here. It's kind of under the eaves of our porch. So you can see what's happened. And that's why we wanted to get rid of them because they look horrible. And clearly three of them in this little space is too much, but you can see how they've been completely pushed forward because of the heavy wet snow. Uh, I don't really think there's any way to try to fix this. I think we're just going to, we'll cut them down and just get rid of them. We'll put some kind of boxwoods here, preferably disease resistant boxwoods, because they will be able to take the shade. We'll have to just keep on them for pruning. These obviously could have been pruned a lot. We didn't know that. Again, typical landscaper, just plunking something in the ground wrong plant wrong place so we will have to take care of these sooner now rather than later and i'm actually kind of embarrassed because it looks really horrible saying goodbye to the snow damaged cryptomeria you can see how horrible they look from behind the heavy wet snow in february just pushed them all forward on top of the candy corn spirea so as mentioned in a previous video we wanted to get rid of them anyway because they had outgrown the spot this just forced our hand. Let's see how loose that is in the soil. I'm actually kind of glad to see them go. Can you push on that one again so they can see how lo how loose that was? Yeah. Time to go. One and a half down. I'm amazed at how much more open this bed looks. It's kind of exciting.
I feel bad taking these down. I'm not one to just get rid of plants for no reason, but they really are not in the best location. This part of our front porch area here doesn't really get any sun. Not in the back where these were planted. So you can see how much dead there is in the middle there because they don't get enough sun. And the snow just kind of sealed their fate. I do feel bad. I really do. We do try to save as many plants as possible. You see the gyrations we go through moving plants from one location to another so that we don't have to get rid of them. But sometimes nature forces your hand. It is what it is. So here's the boxwoods. They are seven gallon containers. They're probably two feet tall and they will put on some, some growth this year, probably a couple of inches. You can see they're conical shaped. I kind of was toying with the idea of just getting ones that had not been pruned into cone shapes. Uh, we can always let these go round. Um, either way, I'm just happy to have them, but you can see how much open space there is in this bed. And let me step back a little bit here and you can see so the boxwoods are probably going to be just about the same height as this birria. I know it doesn't look like that because of how the camera films or doesn't film in perspective. So that's why I want to burn them up a little bit so the boxwoods kind of stand above I mean, the spirea. And we've already pruned the spirea back in a previous video. They really needed to be cut back. Um, maybe after flowering, we'll take them down even a little bit more because they really are supposed to be like a one and a half by a one and a half. And these we have let get a little bit out of control. So you can see that with if we burn the boxwoods up a little bit, they will be a little bit taller. It is, um, I guess, a little bit jarring to the eye because those cryptomeria did fill up this bed so much. I feel like we have an opportunity here to put some ground cover in though, or maybe even move a couple of or get some more of these variegated liriopes and speckle about the bed maybe even a ground cover uh shade tolerant ground cover i think lamium would look pretty but it has a tendency to take over and i kind of like the emptiness of this bed i like the fact that it's just not full um i feel like we can put some annuals in here we do have a couple of veronica there's one there and there's one there I think at one point we had four or five in here. It's just not sunny enough here for Veronica. So I don't know if they actually come back and do anything this year. Maybe we'll pull them out. But I feel like maybe some begonias would look pretty in here or some sun patients or again, just some more liriope. I feel like there's too many boulders in here. I don't know if you can call those boulders, just large, large stones. They were put in by the landscaper who did the work when the house was being built. So maybe those two in the back we can move or something. I don't know. I feel like they need a little bit of rearranging. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you real quick. We will be planting up the boxwoods at some point when we can bring in some soil and burn them up. And then adding a few more things to this bed. So something more uh, exciting to look forward to as we work our way through 2024. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.